So if you were to generate this text with 11 labs normally, it sounds like this. I know what you did. But now that we've made it angry, it can sound like this. I know what you did. Or quiet. I know what you did. Or proud. I know what you did. I want to share a hack that I use to infuse emotion into AI voices from Eleven Labs. So if you haven't heard of Eleven Labs, they are the leading text-to-speech AI product. And so I will generate some text here. I can't believe it. So it's really impressive, but it, it's difficult to tell the AI that you want something to be read in a certain way. It has to guess the tone to read it uh, based on the text that you give it. So what if I wanted to have it say this in an angry way? I found that if you add context as if the voice were narrating a book, it does add the specified tone. So you might add, he said confused or he shouted, he shouted angrily after the text. And note that this works best with the English V1 model, uh, which is not the newest model. And I found this to be true, but you can still use the latest model, uh, but the emotion won't be as strong. So let's go back and uh, try this out. So let me wrap this in quotes. I will make her shout it angrily. I can't believe it, she shouted angrily. All right, what about she said with sadness? I can't believe it, she said with sadness. So as you can see, it took the whole text into consideration and it read, I can't believe it, uh, but with the emotion that I was able to spec specify. But what if we want to give it this extra emotion, but not have it read out she said with sadness or whatever emotional context that you want to give it. So here we are in the API docs for the text to speech endpoint. And it's pretty simple. You just have to give it what text you want it to say and which voice to say it in and it returns the audio. But there's an additional property in the request parameters called next text. It's intended for if you want to generate a very long piece of text and you need to break it up and concatenate the results. However, we can hijack this to be our way to add the emotional context to the model. So we would use the next text to say, she said angrily, and it'll still read out the text that we give it, uh, but it'll also take that emotional context into account. So let's try it out. All right, I put in my API key. So I will add in next text. I can't believe it, she said sadly. Let's see if it works. All right, let's listen to it. I can't believe it. All right, so she said, I can't believe it. She said in a, in a sad voice, but she did not narrate, she said sadly. So I made this demo app to showcase the different generations you can get, and I've linked the open source code in the description. But each emotion here is what gets used in the next text for that generation. So if you were to generate this text with 11 labs normally, it sounds like this. I know what you did. But now that we've made it angry, it can sound like this. I know what you did. Or quiet. I know what you did. Or proud. I know what you did. And there you have it. It's a trick to add emotion to Eleven Labs voices. You can check out the code linked in the description.